It's December, Christmas is looming, and most of the big hitters are already vying for your attention on shop shelves and digital stores. But that doesn't mean that there aren't any games to tell you about. And the final games to look for of 2016 boasts a nice mix of AAA titles and potential indie gems. First up is Maze. This bizarre game from Finish Line Games revolves around sentient corn. And if that isn't weird enough for you, there's even a talking Russian robot bear. If you're as intrigued as we are, you can check it out on December 1st to see what's going on when Maze lands on PC. to lose your weapon! Go and get it, and this time, hold it tight! The Dwarves. Fantasy action RPG fans should be on the lookout for The Dwarves, a tactical role-playing game from King Art, which promises to bring together a captivating story, a world full of secrets, and real-time battles you can pause at any time to get a scope of the battle. Are the children of the Divine Smith, we are The Dwarves. As the weather outside gets colder, you can scratch that itch for extreme winter sports with Steep, letting you paraglide, wingsuit, ski, and snowboard in several locations across the Alps, doing cool stunts and sharing them with friends in Ubisoft's Snow Winter Sports title. Once again, Princess Peach has been taken far, far away. And it's up to you to save her. After a successful run on Wii U, Super Mario Maker will allow 3DS users to exercise their creativity in December, bringing unique features and keeping it fun and fresh. This isn't just a port, but another platform for level creators to build their own Mario-themed games. Dead Rising 4. Dead Rising 4 features the return of beloved series protagonist Frank West and heads back to the location of the first game, Willamette. The zombie-filled series has never been one to take itself too seriously and Dead Rising 4 is no exception. It's also set around Christmas time, which makes the end of the year release most fitting. Sen Studios has teamed up with Bethesda to create three pinball tables based off three of Bethesda's well-known franchises, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Doom, and Fallout. The pinball tables are faithful to each series, and we are promised many surprises as we chase down those elusive high scores. Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. Those ninjas, do they think they can scare me? Shadow Tactics is a tactical stealth game set in Japan around the Edo period. You can play as five completely different characters and blend with the shadows, choosing to approach missions in a variety of different waves, offering multiple playthroughs and challenges. I will take their heads to the Shogun. I will show him he has no power over me! Arizona Sunshine is a visceral-looking VR zombie game that sees the player fighting for survival in a sweltering post-apocalyptic Arizona. Nice. Here you'll find yourself battling both the heat of the Grand Canyon State and the ferocious seds that are after your brains.
if killing zombies isn't your cup of tea this Christmas, how about a little VR game featuring werewolves? Werewolves Within is a game of social deduction that will push your sense of trust to the limit. One person amongst you is a werewolf in disguise, and it's your job to either help reveal them or trick the others into keeping you alive. The Last Guardian is finally releasing after so many years in development. In this long-awaited PS4 exclusive, you play as a young boy who has befriended the adorable Trico. The game's story focuses on the friendship between the boy and his four-legged companion as they solve puzzles together in what looks to be an enchanting world. Another game based on the wildly popular Warhammer franchise is making its way to our screens this December, this time set within the 40k universe. Space Hulk Deathwing is a first-person shooter that sees you play as a space marine fighting for survival in a Space Hulk, a vessel doomed to drift through space for all eternity. Super Mario Run Mario is making his first appearance on Android and iOS this month with the release of Super Mario Run, as Nintendo continues to move into the realm of mobile gaming. This side-scrolling auto-runner sees everyone's favorite plumber running and jumping his way through both free and premium versions of the game. My people lived here once long ago. They had machines kept us warm. Rounding off this year's final games to look for is a cute little indie game called The Little Acre. Players will be reminded of classic Disney films as they make their way through the hand-drawn environments on their adventure. And of courage. And that's all, folks. We'll be back in January for the next round of games to look for. The Little Acre.